Hello, Internet, and welcome to Behind the Meme. Today we have a look at I sexually identify as an attack helicopter. Boy, oh boy, have you guys wanted to see this video. Thank you so very much to everybody who has taken time to suggest it in my comment sections. I appreciate you beautiful people more than you will ever know. Your comments help shape this channel, so let me know what you would like to see next, and maybe I'll be able to make it happen. You guys wanted it, now you have it. Here we we go. Now before I start this video, I feel it must be stated that this topic may be controversial to some people. We live in a pretty wacky and also amazing time in history. People have more freedom than they have ever had, and at the end of the day, that's a pretty amazing thing. But also at times, it can be a bit much, for better or worse. Men are becoming women, women are becoming men, some people agree, while others disagree. Personally, I don't give a damn to what you do to your genitals or where you stick them as long as you're happy and stay away from my small wiener i'm basically already a girl so please understand that any views or opinions that i express beyond this point are for entertainment and education what i'm trying to say here is don't be an annoying sjw in response to my video so now that we have that out of the way what exactly is i sexually identify as an attack helicopter well like i was saying before we live in a day and age where an individual who feels they should be something other than what they were born has the right to do so. A few snips here and there and the next thing you know you can go pop a squat in a chick's restroom or grow awkward facial hair or hell, maybe even get on the cover of Vanity Fair. The LGBTQ community, which stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer, has fought hard for their rights amongst criticism. But now we live in a day and age where political correctness reigns supreme. Sadly, in my opinion, killing comedy at the same time. I mean, back in the 80s, and 90s, you could get away with a bunch of risque jokes. For instance, why do bananas wear suntan lotion? Because they peel. <laughs> See? That joke's a killer. That one's amazingly funny. But nowadays, if you say it, you have the bananas getting offended, you have the suntan lotion angry. It's just not the same as it once was. So while politically correct society may help some, it's also a bit much for others. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned LGBTQ RSTUV or whatever it was. Well, that seemed like a hell of a lot of sexual identities, right? Well, what if I told you that there's more, many more, as in over 50 more? Yeah, and to be honest, there's even more than that because I don't see Apache attack helicopter on this list. Do you? Well, you see, that's kind of how the meme started. Many members of the LGBTQ community feel liberated and free when they are able to express their feelings of who they really are inside. They often do so on the internet by writing blogs or posting comments to share their happiness and freedom with others. Some of those people believe that the whole ordeal is outlandish because technically there are only two genders male and female. So as a way to kind of mock and make fun of the whole concept of multiple genders and sexual preferences being accepted in society, a copy pasta known as I sexually identify as an attack helicopter was created. Originally being created by Steam user Goose. Gus? Th this guy right here, who would spam the text in game and forums. As you can see, the original copy pasta is a bit longer than I sexually identify as an attack helicopter. If you wish to read the whole thing, you can pause the video right now to do so. After the original creation of the copy pasta, it began to spread and gain attention from multiple sources, becoming quite popular on Reddit. Typically being shortened to I sexually identify as an attack helicopter and used in numerous ways. Sometimes even attack helicopter is replaced with whatever the person wishes. Like our buddy did here with a comment he left on a previous video claiming to identify as a microwave. Sorry, I didn't mean to assume your gender. But you would be foolish to think that it's simply a copy pasta text-based meme. Oh no, my friend, this is the internet we're talking about. Since then, it has been used in many ways and featured in numerous videos. I sexually identify as an attack helicopter. Ever since I was a boy, I dreamed of soaring over the oil fields, dropping hot sticky loads on disgusting foreigners. It's time to live my dream. 
It has even been officially recognized as a legit sexual identity with its own term known as helisexual. At least on UrbanDictionary.com, that's kind of official, right? And in some cases, the phrase has even become the bane of existence for SJWs. Can I identify as an attack helicopter? Am I allowed to do that? I don't think that would be genuine or that has any but basis if I genuinely in reality. Did. If, if I genuinely did and it was my reality, could I do that? I'm not gonna even go there. Sorry guys, there's only two genders. Two genders, female and male. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the clock. I don't know what you call it when you fall in love with an attack helicopter, but sign me up and call me that because I just fell in love. Lauren Southern, you are beautiful. I don't care what your beliefs are. Marry me now, please. Libertarian, okay, I'll be that. I don't know what that is, but I'll be it. I assume it's like library stuff. I've always wanted to be a librarian. Books are cool. Letters, words, paper, late fees, whatever. I'm down. So there you have it. It. I sexually identify as an attack helicopter, started off as a copy pasta used in an ironic way, and has become a common phrase on the internet. But hey, that's the internet for you, and on the internet, memes are king, or queen, or bi, or neutral, or... Oh, it. Thank you so very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can catch my next video and stay up to date on all your favorite memes and trends. Who knows, you may learn about something you never knew about before. I'll catch you beautiful people next time.